Welcome to World Cinema Reviews. This is your host, Frank the Vamp. And um, I'm really glad today to be talking about um, doing a segment that is very forgotten in my channel, which is um, movies that mess with your mind. Um, usually, I would say that this, this is, I you know, even though usually... I don't know why, but they don't have as many views as other, you know, more popular. Perhaps it's because it's made from movies that are not really well known. But I, I really going to recommend a movie that I'm going to talk about. And when I talk about movies that mess with your mind, it's a movie that after you watch it, you're not the same. Either has, it has an effect that will leave, that will linger in your mind. And will completely affect your senses, the way you view life, and sometimes you know it might, it might you know you might be maybe leave you sleep deprived or I mean I'm really really serious. I mean it's not that they're the scariest movies, but certainly those are movies that will leave you very unsettled after you watch it. And uh, I gotta thank special thanks before I start um, to Grumpy Andrew because. The, the movie I'm going to talk about today, it's it's a movie that I heard him do. On, uh, I heard him, you know, talk about a little bit on a on a review, and uh, it's it's basically the movie Martin. And Martin is is directed by George Romero, Night of the Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead. Old zombie, kick-ass badass George Romero, but it's not a well-known film because I hadn't heard of it, and I guess you got to be a hardcore horror fan. And since I'm, I'm thinking of becoming one, <laughs> or I am one, definitely I'm always digging for things like this. And Martin is a vampire film, but it's not your normal vampire film. And uh, we have we have starring in a young Tom Savini there. But um, you know, John Amplas as as the as the young Martin, and um, and Lincoln Mazel as as Tati Kuda. And let me just say that you know the fact that the movie is so powerful that it did leave a lasting impression on me for sure. So I wanted to, so please subscribe to Grumpy Andrew. He's an awesome dude. But I got to talk about this movie. And basically the plot of it is that, you know, you got right off the bat, you just see this stranger, this young stranger, you know, kind of weird. He's just in a train and he's plotting to kidnap, rape and murder this young lady. And he carries out the plan in very creepily injects her with a sedative, takes a grip of her, covers her mouth so she can't scream. She's begging for mercy, begging for her life. He reassures her that everything's gonna be okay. She slowly loses control of herself until she passes out. And then he, he goes on to rape her. And then, well, before raping her, grabs a razor blade, cut off her wrist, and, and you know, the, 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 flu, the flow of blood on, on him, you know, gets him off, you know, sexually. And then he proceeds to rape her. Uh, and, and, and then we see him clean the evidence, leave the train, and escape only to be picked up by this strange foreign guy you know, from the old country, they, you know, it is explained to you. And he happens to know, or he says, that Martin is a vampire, it's Nosferatu. So it seems like Martin's parents have passed away and he's gonna take care of him. He's a young man, I don't know, who's a Late, late uh, teens, early 20s, perhaps, in appearance at least. 
But the old man seems to believe that he is centuries old. He's just a vampire and he's just a shame of his family. And he would not shame his family by not embarrassing himself by not accepting his company. However, he protects himself with crucifix, holy water, and, and, and a lot of the Catholic lore against vampires. And he, he warns him that if he kills somebody in his in, in this hometown, he's going to stake him and kill him. And Martin, the young man, reassures him that, you know, it doesn't work, crucifix don't work, garlic doesn't work, all that stuff doesn't work, and and, and, and touches the cross, and, and it's a garlic, and basically it's it's a slice of life where we see Martin as a killer when he's killing or he when he's about to kill he has visions of a past life perhaps they're they're shot in black and white and he's imagining that he actually um, has um, Um, done these things and they're part of him but we don't know it's not clear whether you know Martin is really a century old vampire and he's just having flashbacks of what he's done in the past or Martin is a he's a pathology he's, he's, he's just a sick individual with a deep vampiric mental illness and he believes he's a vampire therefore the only way that he can perform sexually is by by, by having the contact of blood by killing that's the only way he can get himself off and we see some pro we see certainly that he's got some sexual problems that are studied in the film I don't want to spoil that but it's part of it's almost like you're seeing and, and there's one really great scene where a couple of great scenes where he's talking to this uh, radio DJ and, and confessing all his crimes and things and they're a fake name people they call him the count and he's just kind of de debunking myths about vampires and he's telling them what he is and what he has and what he can do and what he can be and that all the stuff about vampires is just is, is wrong he's, he's saying that true stuff is just that you know, he just needs it. He can help it. It's like a drug. He needs, to, he needs blood. He needs the killing. He needs the rush. And uh, and it's cool uh, how he interacts with with a with a niece with a woman. We see his awkwardness to towards women. This is superb. This is George Romero's favorite film. I mean, he said it. You know, like. He said, he mentioned, I, I read that this is his favorite film, and he's done awesome films, but nobody talks about Martin. And I think it's a shame. This is a true study of, of um, it's a case study. It's, it's as good as interview with a vampire, I would say, because it, it really truly says what a vampire would think, do, and, and you know, and, and it, it, it points you know it messes with your mind because you wonder if is he really a, a psycho that just thinks he's a vampire or is he a real vampire and you don't really know and you can actually make a case for both things he may be he may not be the ending is very shocking and sometimes I don't know it's a fitting I'll let you guys decide does Martin, is Martin curable or is he untreatable? You know, he's the creepiness of the film. It's really weird because he, it kind of carries that vibe of psycho where we see this young man, this Norman Bates, that he wouldn't hurt a fly, right? But when he becomes, you know, the old lady Bates, right? It's all gone. So, the same thing with Martin. He looks just a regular young man, kind of harmless, kind of nice, 
perhaps charming, good looking. But we we never see when he becomes the vampire, right? He's a truly creepy, deep, cold blooded murderer. It's it's mind blowing. It's a character study of a vampire, not not done very much. Besides interview with a vampire, I can't think of many vampire films that really go into what's going on through the mind of the vampire. We just see the ma the the guy as a predator, right? But we don't see his feelings. We don't see his anxieties. His things he worries about, things that he he likes to do, things that he doesn't like to do. And and this is superb. I would say that this is an A film all the way. Um, it will mess with your mind. It will leave a lasting impression. Definitely, definitely for you know. So, so coming back with the with this, I'm gonna go ahead and 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 encourage you to check out my other reviews of of films that mess with your mind because you might find some films that are truly really disturbing and I really recommend and I really recommend Martin so please comment if you've seen Martin if you haven't seen it if you want to see it if you don't want to see it let me know and also please subscribe because I want to encourage to go ahead and bring you more 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 films I'm gonna still work really hard on Hormone and bring you more films I've been working really hard at work and I want to do 80 videos a day, but I just don't have the time or the energy. But I want to try and do for Horror Month, do my best to bring out as many videos as I can. So enjoy Martin, guys. Be cool. And don't let Martin bite you. Because I think his bite may have a lasting impression on you. Take care, guys. See you next time.